Harry is truly one of the artist things to animate while doing a visualizer. But don't worry, because I found a way to create better hair animations in a simpler and a more efficient way. Before discovering this method, I would spend hours on hair animations just for it to not look that good. So stay tuned until the end of the video because this technique could save you hours and make your animations 10 times better. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. Now that you're in Photoshop, what you can do now is simply select your layer and simply duplicate it like so. So now what you can do is simply hide the layer on top and go back to your original layer and on this layer what you're gonna have to do is simply delete all of the air that you want to actually animate so just select it and click on generative fill okay so now do that for the rest and once you're in the base area the best thing that i found to do is simply select the air piece by piece and click on the generative fill button and now what you can do is simply fix the imperfections we'll go to the next step afterwards okay so now the next step is simply separating the hair strands so what you can do is simply hide this layer and unhide the layer that's, that's duplicated and what we're gonna do now is simply separate the hair strands so what i'm gonna do is simply select um this strand right there i'm gonna duplicate it and as you can see we successfully separated a hair strand so what i can do now is simply do the same for the rest of the hair Okay, so now just save your project and simply go inside of After Effects and we can start animating. Okay, so now that you're in After Effects, what you're gonna have to do now is simply import your Photoshop file inside of After Effects. Make sure the import kind is in composition mode. Just click on OK. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply scale it up. Now click on the composition and as you can see, you got all of your layers. So now what I suggest you to do is simply hide everything and simply unhide one piece of hair now what you're gonna have to do is simply select this tool right there now with this tool what you're gonna have to do is simply start in the roots section of the hair so we're gonna start start right there and then just start adding points that follow a trail and mind you that the more points there is the more flexible the hair will be and the more wiggly the animation will be now once this is done what you're gonna have to do is simply click on file go on scripts and select hair rig this won't be in your vanilla after effects this is a script that you'll have to download and the script was created by the YouTuber called Anthony Possobon. The script is really a game changer and I've been using it in all my past projects recently. So just click on the rig, you'll see this appear, now just click on run. And as you can see, there's a hair animation. And to change the amplitude and the frequency of the animation, all you have to do is simply select your layer and simply go there. Now you can select and change all of the settings that you want to change. So I'll just tone the speed down like this. And as you can see, the animation is slower. So now, all you have to do is simply do this process all over again with the other pieces of hair. So I'll do another one with you. Just select another piece of hair. Start by the root, add your points. Now go on file, go on scripts and select hair rig. Click on run and there it is. That simple. Now that you animated all of the pieces of air, what you can do is simply put the motion blur on every single layers and then simply enjoy your animation. And as you can see, the animation was done super quickly. It was not hard to do and, and it looks really clean. This script is a game changer because it can save you a lot of time. And if you want to know more about animating visualizers, it's easy to click on this video right there. And if you guys like this video to my channel, leave a like on this video and see you guys in another video.